Hey y'all, El Che here. Welcome back to Chase Forge. Being that tech guy doesn't give me a pass from helping Pops whenever he needs help. It's either gonna get done Pops way or I'll have to come back and make sure it's done right. He recently started using his projector outside and needed a cheap solution to fit his needs. And so this is what we're gonna come up with. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope you're enjoying the content and consider subscribing. Well, what did he think of using and what was the solution we actually came up with? Pops is a simple guy who likes easy solutions that will last. He thought of using a dry erase board he already had, but those are meant to go on walls, thus the screw holes where they're located, which wouldn't work for the setup he actually had outside. Also, it was old and beaten up and wasn't looking quite nice. We looked at outside projector screens that were either too expensive, wouldn't arrive in time, or would either require it to be put up and down after every use. And as we round fall and quickly approach winter, wind would also be a concern for him. So I formulated a plan that would use something sturdy and that would be able to last. And even more important, something that wouldn't require too many tools as we were limited in what he had available at the moment. So off to the hardware store I went where I purchased some of these things. And back from the hardware store I am, where I ended up buying a plywood sheet that was that measured four feet by eight feet, some bare silver projector screen paint some T-nuts, some bolts, washers, a joist, well, three of them, that would be holding or suspending the plywood off of a four inch metal beam and a small paint roller. Pops already had a couple things here and there that were needed. A drill, some drill bits, a screwdriver, a hammer, a paint roller and a pole and a paint pan. Measuring tape and pen, because remember, we always want to measure twice, cut once. Well, drill in this case. To give this the best case to be held up, I separated the joist as evenly as I could, putting one dead center at two feet and the other two at about eight inches from the top and bottom of the plywood. Once measured twice and marked, I went ahead and drilled pilot holes After the pilot holes were made, I used a half inch wood bit spade style to drill the hole all the way through. This made it so that our 3 8 T-nut can fit right in. We used a washer and a bolt passing through the hole. As we tighten the bolt, it makes the teeth on the T-nut grab the wood and be able to be almost flush with the board. Repeating five more times so that we can add all three joists at the end. We then use wood screws to connect the plywood and the post together. Once the work was done, we laid it on the ground, put some two by fours underneath and began to paint. Two coats of paint were applied. The second coat added after the first paint was dried to the touch and after letting it dry overnight. While we wait for the paint to dry, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. It helps the channel grow. Thank you. So the next day we attached it to the beam it was gonna go to. It actually all worked really nicely. Pops will mostly be using this projector outside during the morning time and some evenings. Even as the sun set behind it, it was still bright and vibrant and it only looked nicer and crisper as it got darker. Even during the day it works, 
and I'll go ahead and post a picture about it tomorrow on my Instagram. So for those keeping count at home, that was $23.25 for a two by four plywood sheet, $9.45 for three joists at $3.15 each, $3.36 for six three by eight inch T-nuts at about a buck each, a dollar and two cents for six uh, flat washers, a dollar thirty-four for six three-eight hex bolts, twenty-one eighty-eight for paint, which I do have some left over for future touch-ups, two ninety-five for a small roller. I'll even include the ninety-nine cents for the plastic tray liner. Pops already had some extra wood to use for the backing, and some wood screws and paint roller and pole. If you don't have those, I would say throw in another like five dollars to this total. But everything I spent was about $64.23. I know Pops is happy with the results he got, which was a better solution than what he was originally gonna use. He's already told me he wants to spend more time outside during the evenings now that that projector is working so well out there. I'm sure he'll be calling me soon to help him install some lights out there. Subscribe so that you don't miss that future video and make sure you hit the bell notification so you're notified of any videos as they come out. And like always, stay healthy, stay safe. Elche out. Even when I told him I was going to do all the work, he couldn't help himself and he came outside and eventually tried to take over the project. Just things that pops do.